Hi, welcome to Simple Scuba. We're going to take a look at the Hollis Elite 2 harness. Basically what it comes with is two sets of webbing, two inch webbing, uh, one for the waist and one for the shoulders. You get two shoulder pads, which obviously house the D-rings as well. And you also get two Velcro retainers, which fit on the straps. Two inch webbing with D-ring and slider for the crotch strap. Five standard and four pre-bent stainless steel D-rings. Bunch of tri-sliders, obviously for fitting the D-rings on. Rubber loop for the uh, excess material that passes through the um, waistband. Stainless steel cam band. And quick release um, lower shoulder strap and chest strap assembly. So we're going to run through how that look goes together. I'm going to use a stainless steel back plate, but you can use any style of back plate that you want, aluminium, whatever you want, this principle is the same. So we're going to quickly um, start on the assembly. Okay, so to start off with, um, you need to choose the shorter piece of webbing. This is going to do the waistband. And how I've started it off basically is from the back, thread it through to the front and then back through and that basically just give you the, the waistbands. And then all we need to do on this one is you take the lower section of one of the shoulder quick releases, just make sure you pick the right one so that when it's actually fitted on you, the plate will rotate round to the front and that clip will come into the right position on the, on the chest. So you want this bit to be on the outside. So you can obviously adjust it. So slide from back to front onto the webbing. And obviously when you come to adjust it, you can move the plates in and out to suit you, to give you the best fit. And take a tri slider and standard D ring. Put them in place and pass the webbing back through. So that will keep the plate in place. Put the D ring on there so if you've got any size lungs, um, you can obviously clip them on. And then you've basically got that. Take your cam buckle. So on your left hand side, from back to front through the first slot, back through the second slot, back through to the front on the third one, and then back through the first one again. Once that's in place, that's nice and secure. Keeps that in place. So that's all done. That's, that's your waistband done. Well, whilst we're on the bottom, you can also do the crotch strap. The crotch strap itself is very, very simple. Literally just passes through back plate at the bottom through the big slot and then you can use tri slider and d-ring just on there and that will pinch it up tight they'll give you a d-ring on the back so you can obviously fit anything on the back and uh, keep that secure you can also adjust this to suit you obviously cut off any of that's extra obviously just um, finish that off and that'll prevent it fraying as well so I'll just take that off in a minute because it will get in the way as I move around so, waistband's all done. Got the lower half of the quick release system. I'm gonna work on the shoulder straps now. So I'm gonna set that up and we'll carry on. Okay, so basically what we're doing here is um, assembling the shoulder strap section. So I've started off on one side, so you've got the completed thing. And all I've done is thread the longer webbing section through, so the eyelet is in the middle, and it goes from the back to the front to the back again, and that will create 
the length over the shoulder. Now basically on the shoulder strap itself, we've got the padded shoulder pad, which threads through with a tri-slider to hold it at the top. Got one of the Velcro um, sections on there, two pre-bent D-ring sections with tri-sliders. And at the bottom, you effectively create a loop which houses your um, quick release chest strap and the buckle for the lower section as well. Obviously when you put your quick release section on, you want to make sure you pick up the right bit. So you need to make sure that the chest strap, if you're doing the right hand side for instance, is what we're going to do now, the chest strap comes out to the left with the lower buckle on the actual D, on the circular D section, and then the loop will pass through this top section. So that's the right orientation. Okay, so assembling. Take your shoulder strap. You've got a longer section and a shorter section before the actual loop of the material. You want the longer section at the bottom with the shorter piece at the top. So thread that through. Obviously, once you've got it assembled, you can make your final adjustments. Try slide up. And that's basically there just to keep the strap at the uh, pad in place. Okay. Next, take your Velcro piece. Easy way of finding out which way up it goes. The Velcro pad goes onto the Velcro, corresponding Velcro section on the shoulder strap. So you need to make sure it's up the loop pointing upwards. Thread it through. And you want to take another tri slider. And on this one you're going to put a pre-bent ring. Make sure it's up the right way so that when it's sitting the pre-bent is pointing upwards makes it much easier to grab hold of. And then back through the slider. Put it tight. And you can see that that now sits up from the webbing so you can grab it much easier with your clip. Through the other loop of the shoulder pad. Another slider. Another pre-bent D-ring. So that's the end of the shoulder strap. Now creating a loop here for the quick release. So pass it through so it sits in the loop. Now this bit gets quite tricky because you're basically putting the webbing back through the existing sliders. So just make yourself enough room. Force that strap through. So once that's in there, you've got the loop for the D-ring. Sits on the bottom nicely. And then back through the other slider. Also, you're going to trim the excess material to the right length and obviously finish it off so it doesn't have this long excess of material. And basically you've got there the finished harness. Quick release goes in. Got a corresponding buckle for the chest strap. And that's the harness, complete. Crotch strap's obviously not on it at the moment. That just fits on the bottom. Finish it off, um, get the right measurements for yourself, put it on make any final adjustments. Once you're happy, trim all the excess webbing off, finish it off, and then it's ready to go diving. So that's the Hollis Elite 2 harness.